What's going on? Uh, not much. You just doing a <laughs> doing a thing here. I feel like you were gonna drop something there, but then. Uh, hey, yo, Goomba! I'm still not used to it. Yeah. No, I mean, you just you embrace it. It yeah. becomes part yeah. of you. You're yeah. the part yeah. of the Goomba team. Hey, yeah. We're gonna watch a, a movie trailer and we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> this is gonna be great. It doesn't all have to be commentator voice. There's obviously a lot of movies coming out that I'm, I'm pretty excited to watch. Uh, one of them is Quiet Place Part Two, which comes out April 23rd, 2021. Quiet Place One was. I honestly, I don't see a lot of thrillers and horrors in theaters, um, and I actually went to this one and I enjoyed it, mostly because John Krasinski is like, got a special place in my heart, for sure. I know, and usually he's Krasinskiing the camera to be funny. This time when he Krasinskis the camera, it's really bad, so I love seeing actors and actresses who are known for more like a comedic style jump in a more dramatic and dynamic role and crush it. If you haven't seen Quiet Place, definitely should. The ending is... If there was a level beyond a cliffhanger, that it would be in that category. You know, this was expected. Just go see it. Ready, hit it. So that answered my first question. Is it is it picking up immediately where we left off? It looks like it's going back in time. Ah, uh, the classic. What's happening? <laughs> Before the panic. Wait, seems... oh, that's the kid that gets smoked. Rip. <laughs> Wait, no. They're in a that's Volvo, the aren't they? <laughs> yeah, because this is... Oh, the... damn. Oh! So we already get to see the uh, the creatures pretty early on. That's cool. So, oh, so does that mean John's back in the film now? It, it, yeah, because he's... Because he has to live through the initial outbreak, right? Gotcha. Oh, God. See, I'm afraid Ooh. of buses anyway, so this has already got me. I'm terrified. Oh! Oh, he... Oh. I was going to say, that was okay, kind of that was, that was Okay, that was... That was creepy. Very interesting, because the, the start of the movie, it's really, really quiet, and you don't know the threat. Like, part of the enjoyment of the first film is to figure out what is causing the fear... So now that you know it going into this movie, obviously um, the collapse of society seems to be kind of what it's attached to, which is not a bad idea. Ooh, where are your shoes? Oh, not the bottle trap. I, I really don't think you can outrun it, but... So I think that's after then, because they figure out the baby. Oh, people. Oh, that's a dirty hand. Wonder if we're gonna see more of the monster. There's nothing left. Please. There are people out there worth saving. Okay, so we're definitely going into how do we correct the problem. Oh, I love it. I'm getting a sense that he's not the best of the guys. Left. Yeah. That's the group of people that, like, give up in, like, ultimate survivor mode right off the bat. That's a great line. Like, what, what do you do in a world that's being torn apart, but also the survivors all are all crazy? But then who's going to turn away a mom and kids? Everyone's got to eat. <laughs> The biggest, the biggest thing I have off the bat is, are they going to try to wrap something up, or are they going to milk this like John Wick sort of thing? Going into our three criteria here. The first criteria, do you understand what was happening? Or can you tell me what your idea of the plot is? Yeah, so clearly these creatures emerge, and normal society is clearly toppled, and it's about survival now. It's not about your regular every day, every day today it's about survival i'm envisioning it's kind of a two-stage thing you're gonna get the story of what happens to the family after the end of the first film and is there a plan to save the planet from these creatures i feel like i've actually taken a lot without it being spoiled for me and i'm wondering how they're gonna fit john krasinski because he's not in the trailer at all or i like with trailers like this 
Maybe these are just like terrible flashbacks, little blips that you get to see throughout the film. Mm-hmm. So who knows if even that those scenes are that big of a deal. Criteria number two. Does it look like a good film? John Krasinski produced the first one and directed it, right? So I don't think he's going to skimp on quality. And just the bus <laughs> sequence alone, I'm already creeped out at that. Obviously, what's, what's going against it is that second movie syndrome. Because a lot of sequels are not good. And if you haven't seen our episode on sweet sequels, you should definitely go grab that peanut gallery episode. But the quality looks there. Actually, the CGI and the creatures looks better uh, than I remember it in theaters. All in all, it looks like a good movie. I can't point to anything and I'd be like, I think that's going to be bad. Mm, I agree with that. Number three, will you go see it in theaters? Absolutely. Mask up. We're going. I'm there. So I think that's consensus. Go check it out. What did you think of the trailer? Tell us. Let us know. We love discussion. You can argue, but don't fight. <laughs> I like that. Remember, Quiet Place Part 2 comes out, supposedly, April 23rd, 2021. We'll be there. We hope to see you there. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel. Join the conversation. And we will see you next week in some other facet of our wonderful times. Blah, 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 blah. Ayo, Goombas. Carmen Arnar. <laughs> <laughs>